three visits to the ball, and the three little pigs, and many others. In modern literature, there are many twisted versions of folk tales. For example, they use the same characters and plots in a new modern setting. Or some elements of the folk tale are used in the new story. Young et al. found a Red Riding Hood element in Number the Stars by Louis Lowry. Here's the excerpt. The handle of the straw basket scratched her arm through her sweater. She shifted it and tried to run. She thought of a story she had often told to Kirsty as they cuddled in bed at night. Once upon a time, there was a little girl, she told herself silently, who had a beautiful red cloak. Wolf in the Snow by Matthew Cordell is also based on Red Riding Hood. While the little girl with the red hood and wolves appear in the story, there is no malicious intent between them in this picture book. There are subtypes of folk literature such as folk tale, tall tale, fable, myth, and legends. Folk tales are animal, fairy, or human tale passed down by word of mouth. Tall tales use hyperboles. They are exaggerated narratives of characters who perform impossible feats. Those characters are either historical or fictional, but anyhow, they have superhuman strength. Fables are brief stories that point clearly to a moral or lesson. They often use personified animals. Myths are symbolic stories created by an ancient people to explain their world. Gods and others with supernatural powers are usually used as characters in myth. Legends are traditional narratives of a people often based on historical truth. Historical figures are used in legends, however, their accomplishments are somewhat fictionalized. While using folk literature can be beneficial for children's education, not everyone agrees upon it because of its superficially realistic fantasy and violence. So it is important for you to make an informed decision when you are trying to use folk literature in your classroom. If you choose to use folk literature in your classroom, consider the evaluation criteria on this slide. The writing should be engaging and reflect the oral tradition. The story should reflect the values of the culture. The illustrations should add details that extend the story and reflect cultural details. Source notes that cite sources should provide a cultural context in which the story was told and offer an explanation of any changes the author made. Thank you for watching this lecture. I hope you can now choose appropriate folk literature to boost your children's creativity.